So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily convert from the M4A audio format to MP3. And you might say, well, why would you want to do that? Because M4A was generally intended as a successor to MP3. Um, and obviously MP3 is the older format. However, there is some of the older devices that will only run MP3 and won't recognize M4A. So you might need to convert from sort of this M4A that Apple uses a lot uh, to the MP3 format. So the video uh, will show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you first um, using a program that's installed from the Microsoft Store. So you're installing a small program onto your Windows machine. And the second, if you don't want to install anything, you just want to do a quick conversion, that, and that will be shown via a web browser and a small program you can use without installing anything. Before we get started, obviously, if this video is helpful, please don't just click off. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, hit me with any comments below, they are always appreciated. And incidentally, if you've got a Mac computer and you're wondering on how to do it on a Mac, then please do follow the link in the top right hand corner there. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is to download the program. So we're going to do that within the Microsoft Store, which is accessed via this little like suitcase shape uh, that should be on your taskbar. If it's not, just do a quick, quick search for it in your Windows menu there. So you'll need to be sound it, signed in to download it. And I'm just going to search for Sound Converter, which you can see here. I've already got it typed in. And it's this one at the top that we want to be going for, this one with the two yellow boxes. So we're going to click on this one. And I'm going to click on Install. And all this does is install this small program onto my Windows 11 machine. Like I say, it works the same in Windows 10 as well. Once it's done that, I'm just going to click on the Open icon. Uh, incidentally, you can open it again from your apps section here. So this is the program itself. And as you can see, a sound converter was made by a single person, mostly in the evenings after the kids had gone to bed and while my wife watched terrible TV shows. So we are very much happy that this person created this small little inobtrusive program. Okay, so we've got the program open, so we need to drag some files into it. Uh, so by doing that, we just need to click on this big arrow button here. And as you can see, it says drop files here, or we can add files by clicking on there. So I'm going to drag them in by opening my file explorer. And I'm going to go to my music folder where I've got convert M4A file to MP3 in Windows 10 or 11. And I've got two little uh, M4A files ready to go, uh, music files ready to go. I'll just resize these windows so we can see what's going on a little bit better. I'm going to do that by using the snap command, uh, which is that one there. And I want my file explorer on that side there. And so if you do want to learn how to snap and uh, resize windows, then I'll put the link in the top right hand corner there. Uh, and then you can follow that and that will show you how to snap and organize your windows better within Windows 10 and 11. So let's get back to converting these M4A to MP3. So I've got my files ready to go. I'm just going to drag these two across into where it says drop files here. Drag them across, drop them in like so. Uh, let go and then you can see it's dragged the two folders in. If I want to check uh, or play these, I can click on one and then hit the play button there just to test what um, I have dragged across into my sound converter. Doesn't matter if they're selected, I can just click on the next button and it'll bring up some menus and this one with the audio quality, I can set low, medium or high. I want it just medium for this particular video. And then the encoding underneath, you can see I've got a couple of different options. We're wanting to go to MP3, but if you do want to convert to say a .wav, you can just select that one there. I'm gonna click on the next button. And then this is now asking us where do you want to save them and what do you want to do with the original files once you have done that. It's going to go into the music folder and I want to do nothing with the original files. Now I might want to save it somewhere else so I can differentiate between the two different files. So I'm going to click on the little three little dots there and in here I can now create another folder. So I'm just going to put it in music, new folder. I'm going to type in uh, converted from M4A to MP3. Like so. Click on that and then select that folder. So then it says create the converted files into this folder. Not going to do anything, the originals, leave them where they are. Click on the next button and then click on the convert button. If you do want to double check on the summary, you can do it at the top there. Click on the convert button. And the program goes away and converts the uh, M4A to MP3. Click 
click on done and then it's now saying okay do you want to do something else so that is how to use the sound converter i'll just show you that the files are in there so go into my music folder and this converted from m4a to mp3 if i double click on that you can see i now have two mp3 files which is great uh, and they are now uh, ready to be transferred to my device that only plays mp3 so that's how to do it using the uh, sound converter program that's installed on your windows 10 or 11 machine and now i'm going to show you how to do it for your web browser uh, if you don't want to install uh, anything onto your machine and this is just a quick and easy way to do it uh, using a, a small program that you can access via the internet so i'm just going to close that so i'm going to use firefox i'm just going to open it up like so i'm just going to do a search for the program it's called online uh, audio converter like so and it's this top link here and so make sure you go to the right uh, web address which is online-audio-converter.com click on that and this is the interface obviously it's got some adverts showing don't worry about them because obviously this is a free service so you'd expect to see some adverts so i'm just going to open the, the files up and then i am already in this convert m4a file to mp3 so in here i've got the two m4a that i converted just before using the sound converter app so i'm just going to select these two files again click on open that uploads them onto online audio converter.com so we can convert from the m4a to mp3 so now I've got them loaded up onto the site. So depending on how quick your internet is, will depend on how quick them files go up. I can then in this number two box, select how I want to change them and what I want to change them to. I'm just going to MP3 because that's what this video is about. Uh, and I can change my sound quality to maybe a good quality. I can even go to best if I really want to ramp it up. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it on good. And then click on the big convert button. Underneath, this converts them on the online audio servers. You're then presented with the download link and you just click on the download. Again, I'm using Firefox, um, but they all, all these programs save to the downloads folder or most do. So click on download, you'll see the little icon there and it says it's downloading them. It's completed the download and it's sent them into my downloads folder. So I can click on that icon and I can show in folder and it will show the zipped files that it has sent or downloaded from online audio converter to my computer so i need to extract them if i want to see them by pushing the extract button but just let's have a look inside you can see there's the two mp3 files uh, like i say if i do need to extract them i would extract all and then save them to wherever i needed to do on the computer and then now i can actually save these onto the device that i want to play my mp3 on and that is it. That's how to convert your M4A files to MP3 uh, for free on Windows 10 or 11 using the online, the sound converter and also the online sound converter. So two different ways. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the subscribe button. It helps my small channel grow. Please hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated and do smash that like, back, like button because again, that does help my channel. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, please do watch some of my other videos which will be on the screen now. And thanks again for watching at the Computer Lab on YouTube.